All right, collective. Let's do one more reading. Now, I don't know if I necessarily want to pull from these shadow cards. But, um, let's see. Let me see what's going to come out of these cards. Now, I think I might want to pull from a smaller deck. I think I like the imagery a little bit better in this deck versus this deck. Even though it's the same thing. <laughs> I might clarify with that. Let me see what's going on. Now, I want y'all to be very mindful in regards to the people that you allow back into your energy. You know? Might not be for good intentions, boo. Alright? So be very mindful. Alright, let's see. What you got, Spirit? Give us something good, something that we really need to do. Now that's four cards coming out here. This is weird. Plus, it's going back to that uh, reading that I just did with a whole new, new deck. And what's really creeping me out is this card at the bottom of the deck. Now, you can look at this card as the same person. One light and one dark. The light side of yourself, the dark side of yourself. And I put that little dot over her because she's a little bit explicit. Followed up with the moon card in the mask. Wow. So let's see. We, since these four cards fell out, we're going to utilize them. Now, this is you at this present moment. You know, probably in hermit mode, working on yourself. Your stability. Soaring the great heights. Doing all the right things. However, we got the dice. And a little weed whacker right here. Now, you may have to cut away this risk. Whatever this talking about. And we about to clarify with the same cards. But with the next deck. I do have all of them. Let me see. Let me make sure. Because it's feeling kind of thin. Yeah, I think that's it. Now let's see. What is the um the first one off the top? All right, <laughs> had to make that clear. Now this is lined up with the tree. Again, just like I was saying. Now the tree, it that's all about stability, that connection to the universe or higher self, the source, the Most High. Right there, trying to find that. Just like I said, that's you. What is the stability? Now it looks like your um, pathway is clear. Now, 
And this is the heart. Now the heart does represent. Let me see. I, I, I think it's overall energy is love, but let me see. I just want to be sure. I think it's in this book as well. It's the same. The key, the lady. Okay, there you go. Now, it's, yes, it says the form of happiness and love is simply drawn in my shape. I am your feelings and emotions. I am your passion and your devotion. Just make sure no bad cars are around to spoil this found fondness and affection. Got the clover flying out here rather quick, and it is trying to find some type of risk. Hmm. But I'm let me see what that clover is talking about. Even though I know, but let me see what it's talking about in association. Now the stork. Now the stork is about um deck. And at the bottom of the deck is the snake. Which is creeping me out. Because you have this at the bottom of the deck. And the snake at the bottom of the deck. Now this look like this risk is the only thing that's these dice. Taking a chance on something. Well, let me see something. What is this dice talking about? Okay, here you go. It says, I am the risk, the gambler you choose to take, the gamble you choose to take. I am the uncertain and the leap of faith. I offer the promise of the future change, possibility, negative cards to my right will foretell the fate, but positive cards will bring about a happy state. However, it's this. However, you got luck above it with the clover and the stork. And the stork is all about upgrades and improvements. The change in the season, sometimes the symbol that stands for new family additions or a new state of evolution. Now, it do look like you may be just whacking away at the risk. Cutting it down because that tin is there. A new beginning. And maybe you're going to peep through some type of red flag. 
some type of wrist. Because she is looking away. You see how she looking? Or you might need to pay attention. And she looking at this promise. Now, I'm not saying anything was wrong with taking risks, because sometimes you do have to take a risk, but I'm just looking at this. You're going to have to peek. Because something is shady for both those two cards to be at the bottom of the deck. It's because it's something that you don't see. Well, let's see. I want you to take chances with yourself, man. Now, this could have something to do with past behaviors, too, so... Be mindful of that. You don't want to fall back into old patterns. Now, I don't know if these... Let me fix the cards, y'all. I want to use these this time. I don't know if they up right. come out and they turn around in reverse then I pay attention to them. But other than that, they ain't got time for all that. <laughs> that be just too much for me, y'all. Okay. some more tarot. I think they done had their last little dance, y'all. Now you got judgment. Now, this judgment, in my opinion, is that evolution that I just read about. That ascension. You very connected with spirit. Whoever I'm talking to. And I said, y'all got a lot of offers coming your way. Somebody do. And it do look like something that's going to grab your attention. Now you have the three of wands with the stability in this heart. And the magician. Now you got the high priestess, the seven. Now I didn't put it in an upright, it's in the reverse. Now, that may indicate that somebody's uh, not trying to be clever. I want to say mischievous. Let me see. Now you got the two of cups and the seven of wands. It's almost like, I don't know. 
say that as long as you keep your feet planted on solid ground and in cahoots and connected with spirit the divine and operate in love and integrity with most importantly and first of all the love that you have for yourself your dignity that thing gonna be all right and it made me stop at this as I'm saying all that, because it's some type of trickster spirit. It now it could be Jezebel's spirit. Now that could be latent hidden desires, the, the ones that you have. I don't know, boo. But something is going on. Now you got the three of swords and the five of cups on the magician. Now this might indicate that the magician is wasting his time. Because you're moving on to stability. Ugh. It's almost like the Queen of Wands is laughing at the damn. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at the devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel that you're protected. Some type of union. And whatever's going on is like. It do look like luck is on your side, balance. And maybe somebody betted on the wrong thing, you messed with the wrong one. I think something going on here. It's like somebody is actually being tormented. Like it's almost like something backfired. Some type of risk that somebody took. Somebody did something. And, and judgment is coming down for messing with the high priestess. Because of your connection. I'm just seeing all of this. with spells but it didn't work yeah there look at the sun I told you they was trying to do something but you still moving I, didn't I tell you they was trying to do something to the star. But it ain't working. Look. I don't know. Somebody might have been trying to play with some come to me spells, sex spells, or some crap like that right there going on here. Look, but you ain't coming. They hollering. Look.
as long as you stay con uh, connected with spirit, you good. It's all the same. <laughs> like they was actually trying to play with some come to me spells or something. I'm just looking at it because look. You see how you planned it and you connected with spirit with all this greenery around you? And this is the story. And this is all about relationships. Some type of come to me spell, but it ain't working. <laughs> Dummies. <laughs> Stupid. They about to they about to get it. For trying. Look. They confused and it ain't working. It's going back. You're moving forward to your self love. You protect it. This is stupid. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Where are these people? I don't ever know. This is the backfire for me. If this ain't working, boo. I'm looking at it. it. It's just so clear. Yeah. You're protected. Everything that you got going on. And I told you. That wheel is turning. In your favor. And I told you. That's just like you laughing at. Whoever trying to play with these trickster spirits. Yeah, that's them. They got a boomerang effect right there. What you put out is what you get back. The all seeing I sees all. Spirit saying it all. Injustice is coming. For messing with you, boo. Trying to stop you. For moving on. You got to have a victory. I told you. Child. It's like they said, uh, the, the, what they wish for you is coming back on to them. That is, it just sometimes I hate when I get these readings, but <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, somebody was trying to do something, but I don't. It ain't working. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. I think I'm gonna end this right on here because, shit, I ain't got time to be playing in this stupid energy. They be getting my nerves. As long as you stay planted and connected, the spirit is good. Got you. You stay connected because it's about to be good to go. Yeah. Smiley face and joy. You got a, a, a serious connection coming your way, but somebody. You healing. And they're going to be still chasing after the, the foolishness. 
your situation is changing from this to this. Yeah, you continue to you continue to do what you're doing, bro. All right, that's your message. Cause I don't mean like playing in this energy for a long time. They make me sick. All right, hit the like button.